In this section, we are going to be talking about the common causes of memory problems in Java applications. Some of the causes of the memory problems could be misconfiguration of the sizes of any of the memory spaces, memory leaks in the application, application making excessive use of finalizers, or explicit GC invocation from within the application or using any of the external tools. Let's take a look at each of these causes in detail. Misconfiguration of memory spaces. If the memory pools are sized smaller than the life set of that pool, then the application can get into memory issues. Some of the examples are, if the old generation is sized smaller than the life set of Java objects, or the code cache is sized smaller than the generated compiled code. Or if the young generation is not sized appropriately, it can cause premature promotion of objects, leading to full GCs. Or the perm gen or meta space are not sized appropriately, causing full GCs. All of these misconfigurations ultimately lead to performance or out of memory issues for the application. To understand how misconfiguration of spaces can cause memory related problems, let's take a look at this GC log. These GC log entries suggest that the old generation of the Java heap might be sized smaller than its requirement. There are several full GCs attempting to free up some room in the old generation, but they are not able to claim any space and the application fails with out of memory error due to the occurrence of too many GCs collectively exceeding the GC overhead limit. Another cause for memory problems is a memory leak, which means that the application is unintentionally holding references to some of the objects in memory spaces. To give you some examples, applications might hold references to a set of objects in the Java heap or might not be clearing class loader references when it should or might not be releasing native resources appropriately. Now let's talk a bit about the finalizers and how they may impact the memory consumption in Java applications. Objects that have finalized method implemented in their classes are said to have finalizers. Objects with finalizers may delay their own garbage collection. When the objects become non-reachable and are eligible for collection, the finalizer thread needs to invoke their finalized method before those instances can be reclaimed. Note that there is only one finalizer thread and if it doesn't keep up with the pace that the objects are becoming eligible for finalization, then the JVM can run out of memory and fail with an out of memory error. Objects that are otherwise garbage and are waiting for finalization or in other words, waiting for the finalizer thread to invoke their finalized method cause wastage of memory and can introduce any of the memory related problems. One important point to note here is that the finalizers are being deprecated in Java 9. Explicit GC invocations such as system.gc or diagnostic data collections, for example, collection of heap dumps invoking full GCs can cause long pauses in Java applications. That brings us to the end of the section two. Thank you.